Hello guys, welcome to the AKA Academy channel. In this video, we are gonna solve the, some mechanisms and we will understand the degree of freedom of mechanisms, how to find it. So let's start it guys. So this is our, this is our first example. We call these mechanisms as a five bar mechanisms and you will understand why we are calling this mechanism as a five bar. So, as I said, we are going to find the degree of freedom of mechanisms. What was the formula, guys? I know you just watched the last video and you know how to find it. But just let's write it again. F is, which means the degree of freedom of mechanisms, is equal to the lambda times L minus J minus 1 plus total 1 to the joins fi so do you remember we set lambda as a three or six we are going to use the three for two dimensional problems and we are going to use the six for the three dimensional problems as you can understand we are just dealing with the uh, paper and this is the simple mechanisms so this is two dimensional problem so we are going to use the three for the two-dimensional and now time time to find the L and J what is the L it's the number of the links what is the J it's the number of the joints right so how many links do we have now time to find it firstly guys every time in examples you are gonna write down the one for the ground so grounds are we are counting the grounds as a one link so I just write down here one. So these dots means the revolved joints and it represents the, in, at, after this point, there is a new link is starting. So there is a new link is started over here and it's going to do till this point. So this is the, our second link. As you can understand, this is the, our third link. This is the, our fourth link. And this is the, our fifth link. So there is one more ground. Should I write down here sixth? No. Grounds are always same, guys. If I, if I wrote down here one, so I should write down here one again. So how many links do we have? We have five links. So I just wrote down over there. Now time to find the joint numbers. So between the first and second link at this point we have a r joint right which means revolved joint between the second and third link we have a again r joint between the third and fourth links we have a, again r joint there is one more r joint and between the fifth and ground again we have a r joint so totally one, two, three, four, five. Five joints we have. So one is constant, always we are writing that. So now time to find the this side. As I said in the last video, this side may can you confuse, but don't worry, now I'm gonna teach you. So for R, P, oh, P, and gear pair and spherical pair. We are going to use one for R, we are going to use one for P, we are going to use two for G pair, and we are going to use three for spherical pairs, guys. So, we have five R joints, and you are just going to write down here five times one because of the R joint. Another, any kind of joint do we have in this example? No, I just have a R joints in this example. So I just wrote down, I just wrote down there five times times one. So what's the result? This is zero minus one times three minus three. And I have five over there. So the result is two. So F is equal, equal to the 
to in this example. It was basic mechanism and this mechanism is really really common for the mechanism classes also in the real life the engineers are using this mechanism really really a lot so we call this as a five bar mechanism because of the linked numbers don't forget it so let's start for the our second example i'm gonna change my paper all right so now time to solve it this is this is the, our second example guys we call this mechanisms as a slider crank mechanism and this is also really really common for the classes mechanism classes also for the real life engineers are engineers use this mechanism really really a lot this is really helpful so now time to find the let's hold this paper like this now time to find the f what was the formula i will write down this rep repeatedly so you can memorize it lambda times l minus j minus one plus total one to the j total f i right so this is again two dimensional problems as you can see so we are going to write down 3 for the 2-dimensional, don't forget it. For 2-dimensional, we are going to write down 3. For the 3-dimensional, we are going to write down 6. So now time to find the L and J, number of links and number of joints. So I said we are going to put, we are going to write down the 1 for the ground. Always start with the ground, guys. So another link is starting and another link is finishing so this is the our second link and this is the, our third link which is this one so guys there is a rigid body this rigid body can sliding on the ground as you can see so also this is a link all rigid bodies in the mechanisms are different rigid uh, different links so I just wrote right wrote down there four there is again ground should i write down there five no this is same ground again i just wrote down there one so how many links do we have we have four links now time to find the joints between the first and second link what kind of joint do i have r joint between the second and third link what kind of joint do i have again r joint between the third and fourth link what kind of joint do i have R joint so between the fourth and to first link I mean with the ground what kind of joint do I have P joint which means prismatic joint if anywhere if there is any sliding motion it means there is a prismatic joint guys don't forget it sliding motion means prismatic joints so totally I have one, two, three R and one P. So four joints I have minus one plus we said three times one. I mean three R joints and we are gonna use one. And we have one P joint and we are gonna use one again. So this side is zero minus three plus three plus one and we get the one. For the degree of freedom of mechanism for this mechanism guys all right let's keep pushing okay we have enough space over here now 